Well, welcome to Mini Fridge. I'm Andrea Radek. And I'm Kristen Plesko. And we have... What is this on the We have... Uh-oh. Ah! We have another one from uh, Kristen Schaefer, who sent us two scary ones. Two Spooky, scary... scary... Artistic things. So, is this like a... Is that a hat? Like, is it like a bonnet? Like... No, I think it's like a one of those uh, flipper flap hats from uh, Russia. Is it? Yeah, well, zoom in on it. Let's see. It looks sort of like or a it's shoe like two with the palati- shoe or it could be it. two platypus tails, like a two platypus. I think that's what it is. I think it's a flipper flap hat. Like to me, it sort of reminds me of those like racist crows from the Disney thing because they have like a big <laughs> hat on it, and they were oh, also the Jim Crow and <laughs> all his friends. Do you ever see an elephant fly? <laughs> you ever see a bird band fly? <laughs> <laughs> like I thought, I thought, yeah, like this one has like a like a. Oh yeah, it does. That's really funny. It. Oh man, they were always my favorite as a kid since they were super animated and they were colorful cartoon characters. I'm the worst person though, but I, I think don't know a... what's in it. I just know I can't stop smoking them. <laughs> <laughs> Why you ever see an elephant fly? I don't think I ever see an elephant fly. And then they would just, like, use these hilarious voices, and it's just, oh, yeah, I remember that. That's actually apparently a porn. I was just going to say that. So, uh, in a part of these racist, racist uh, crows. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's good old-fashioned family racism. Uh, There's one where it's just Aladdin, and you've probably seen it. It's like a Tumblr post that goes around all the time, and it's like two pictures of Aladdin. It's like, in the beginning, in the movie, he was poor, and it's like a picture where he's he's obviously Arabic. At the end of the movie, he was white, and it turns out, like, the, the white version is is he's getting a blowjob from... <laughs> By Hercules. <laughs> Hercules, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, God, also, I mean, I, you know what I was surprised about? They actually do use, like, uh, a lot and, like, words like that in the Disney movie, which I'm kind of surprised about, but I guess they it was before... What? Like Allah, you know, like God, oh. but like Arabic. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Don't, don't look at it. Yeah. But uh, now we're looking at uh, whenever you. I really like those crows, though. I like the one where you had to look through his hat. <laughs> I like that one as well, yeah. Yeah. As, as a kid, I thought they were Racist. awesome. Well, and it's sad because if you're a kid, you don't realize it's just a racist stereotype of black people. Although they did apparently have like a. The screeching sound. I don't know. I didn't hear it. <gasps> It's a ghost. It's the ghost. Like I think that was actually the a lot of the singers or something for the music. They were like a popular band, so I guess it wasn't. I don't know, like how they would feel in today's society doing it, or how they felt about doing it then. But I don't think it was intended. I think it was supposed to be like a. Uh, funny... Oh, it's somebody revving their car. Oh, okay. Because that's the type of jackasses that live around here. Just I. Oh my god. I don't know. But at least it's not the the kids that walk around just screaming at the top of their lungs. Those are my favorite. And then like the other day they were throwing a football between cars. Like oh, and then like fuck they those kids. Yeah, no they like literally just take them and I'd start screaming at them. I, I started old. the other day I started going on a walk and there was just like this awkward kid that he had his his arms pulled into his sleeves and he was like 6 and he's just walking by himself. And then he, like, kids don't have that sort of sense that, like, if two people are walking at the same time, either let somebody fucking go ahead of you, or stop for a set, you know, or yeah. start walking at a decent pace. So he, like, cuts right in front of me, and then he was just, like, like, walking, like, really fucking slow, and he's got his fucking arms pulled in, so he's like... Did you ever think of that? Hey, what are you doing? I, I thought hey. I scared the shit out of him, because I was in a... I was just... I'm an adult. You should just have a firecracker on you. Adult. You should have like a like a loudspeaker. Like what are those like? He just fucking me in down the road, and he was like, like in the road, boop, 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 you know. <laughs> so let's let's talk about what the hell is this? Oh, it's her sleeves. Okay, yeah. so um, the one I think the, the wings I, are pretty well rendered. Yeah, the, like the they, wings look nice. Yeah, the they, they, look they're nice. Uh, they're not like anime mop wings, and I appreciate that. Yeah, these are are. Real wings that crows have. I also kind of like the angle and stuff. Like the, you can easily focus on the character, like compared to like the background, the characters. The so. thing that the, the 
the elephant in the room for me is this face is freaking me out. Like this this really simplified like Mr. Mime face. <laughs> to me, it kind of reminds me of like Final Fantasy Tactics, where they have no they they have like well, simplified like, features, but it's a super dark game. <laughs> Like, maybe, but, like, the background has a lot of detail and stuff in here. Like, these trees are, are fairly detailed, and then it's just, like, super simple with the face. And just this... Mr. This, Crow! This weird, like, buckwheat hair thing <laughs> going on here. Like, it's definitely stylized, but, like, like this... her face is a different type of stylized than this? And yeah, like, why, are her, why is her eye a little different? Like, if the faces were glowing consistent... glowing eyes. Like, she's zoom shoot, in there. Zoom she's in. shooting goddamn lasers out of her eyes. Oh wow! Yeah, she's a she's a goddamn demon. Like, maybe that maybe that's a part of the story, but that's yeah. Why does really he have like final? Fa- he has like bravely default. He eyes. has dug eyes. <laughs> no, don't ever no no. If you look up bravely default, no no no. Oh god, no, we can't. Oh, he does have and really... I love patty mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's, his head is super tiny too. Like, maybe it's like these oversized sleeves. Like, I thought he had two mushrooms. Like, originally I thought he had a Yoshi egg and a mushroom, and I couldn't tell where his hands were. And then I realized they're sleeves, but they're like exactly the same, even though like one's sort of coming around and one's more like up. Yeah. So burp, burp. that's yeah. <laughs> sorry. Like, and then this this weird <laughs> blister on this shoe here, like. The highlight on this blister shoe is... To me, it's going a little Kingdom Hearts with the giant clown shoes. It does look a lot... And the giant... Actually, I bet you... And the the giant... At least some of the perspective might have been... Because there's that... No, I can't look it up. Damn it. There's that one, like, Kingdom Hearts thing where he's, like... He's jumping and he's doing the exact same type of thing. And I wouldn't doubt if it was inspired by that. Um, Yeah, like, I... And also the big... To me, it looks kind of Final Fantasy. Maybe that's the intent, but... His face does look slightly, and I think it's, it's supposed off-putting. to be pudding. Like to me, it looks like it should be like it. If you look at both of the faces, I feel like they both should be the same. Yeah, yeah they're definitely. supposed to be. You know, so the if difference someone, in the style is weird. So if that if the iris is going to be like that, it's going to be like bravely default eyes, like it is right now. Like it should definitely be consistent because bravely default has villains, and they all have the same sad, cute doll eyes, <laughs> and then they get into hijinks and die, and then it's sad. Spoilers. All of them. All of, it happens in every anime I ever. Know, they know. also fight Satan probably about fifty thousand times. <sighs> probably. Um, oh, yeah, I do like the perspective and stuff. I think it's it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. I would have maybe picked a, a bit of a different color for the ground than I would for the exact same for the trees and stuff. It, it does help it pop out, but it almost feels like part of like an animation thing where it was on like a budget stuff where you didn't want to shade anything. <laughs> Because, like, just that face is... His like, maybe, is really close over Maybe just eyes. have a shadow on the ground, because right now it's not really... Yeah, you know. if you could if you could have some sort of, like... Like, I guess more shadow cast from his wings blocking the sunlight. Mm-hmm. Also, the, the weird, like, toothpicks coming out of his head. I think that's just, like... I think yeah. it's supposed to be hair, but it's just perfect rectangles. So it looks like he has matches or just... Like, like if you're going to like do a stylization, you have to make it consistent through the characters. Yeah. Like if you're gonna have like matchsticks flying out, well, why not like little feathers or something? Or why not uh, why not have like especially the like non-flight feathers? Like why not have that kind of matchstick oh, style we, or we something? We did forget to actually read oh, the shit. description let's do for that. this. <laughs> let's uh, let's actually read it so we can figure out. Because like... she had said that this one was for a contest, so it's possible oh, that yeah. the ca- the character was drawn with those sort of facial features and wasn't oh, just that's... changed. Okay. You can make those types of changes, honestly. Like, I would definitely go for consistency over keeping Someone's... true to somebody's drawing. Yeah, because sometimes people design shitty things, and yeah. you just have to make the right decision for them. Okay, <laughs> the Scarecrow Wings drawing was an excuse to draw two of my personal characters. Oh, that's our characters. The wing Uh-oh. one is Joanna, and the child is Winty. Winty was supposed to be some race that I made up that had a sort of permanent camera red eye. It's like the fucking slitty eyes of the dragon thing all over again. So her pupils are supposed to reflect a pink color. She's terrifying. Her demon eyes. For me, it's not the demon eyes. It's just the fact that her iris or her her sclera and his sclera do not match stylistically. Like that's like really the only problem I have with her face. The fact that her eyes are blue and her her like laser terminator eyes are red and then it's yellow. It's really weird. Like you wouldn't really like why. It's that is the first thing I saw though in this picture were her demon eyes. 
Like, it was sort of like this dark wing and then straight to those eyes. You only get that, that red eye stuff when you're in direct sunlight now, so I don't understand what, you know, and, it, and it's okay to have that stylistic choice. Well, she said just... it, it permanently has camera wit. Oh, red she, eye. oh, yeah. she's like. She's like it's supposed to reflect into... a pink color. If it's still reflected and she's in shadow, they would not pop out like that. Like, I would just, it's kind of off-putting. Yeah, maybe, you know, I don't know, but go on, read it. That being said, I don't exactly like that idea, no. I'm starting to prefer <laughs> characters with designs that don't need to be explained like there's some kind of super special snowflake. <laughs> so if you two have any advice on streamlining a character's design, I would love to hear it. What advice do we have on streamlining a character's design? Make it consistent! Well, that's in a picture. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> if he has matchstick hair coming out, like, if you like drawing that, which is totally fine, I if there's, like, other f- fuzzy bits, like, on his non-flight feathers, I would probably add a few matchstick-like things there just to just to make it consistent. So, you yeah. know, oh, that's just how she draws hair. Okay, I'm okay with this. Well, she's most... Yeah, that's true. It's, like, the hair is inconsistently drawn because it has... It sort of looks like weird Charlie Brown hair. That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, kind of like Pigpen? Yeah. But, like... But like <laughs> Hey hair? No, 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 not Pigpen. There, no, like Patty, like oh, fucking peppermint yeah. Patty, and she has like the big dupe over her head. It looks like fucking peppermint Patty. Yes, sir. not gonna. Look it up. <laughs> oh, weird. Um, uh, for streamlining a character's design and stuff, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely having to explain all about a character off the bat, is, especially if they have like, well, like it becomes an interesting balance of show and tell, I guess. Yeah. Like you. You don't have to have something where you, like, it's okay to explain things about a character. We don't, we don't want to say, like, everything should be, you know, on the skin and you should have, but, like, little details can tend to do a lot better job at conveying things. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you, if you have a character that just had a rough, dark past and she, you know, she escaped the bullfighting rings and stuff, you know, you know, like, if you gave her, like, a black eye or, like, just scars or stuff is a much more... Band-aids all over her face and nose. <laughs> yeah, it's like, if you, if you give her a more subtle way of convening, or of conveying that meaning mm, without like just, like... Like a broken nose. Yeah. You know, like, without doing that, you can create a much more interesting character, just in that way. Yeah. And it, there should be some intrigue behind your character oh. and stuff. You Something know, don't... disconnected. I don't know what that was. Oh, okay. Maybe it was nothing. It, your, uh, your windows did a boo-boo. I don't know what that means. Uh, boop boop is fine, apparently. Oh, um, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your thing. <laughs> but, like, I, I definitely, you can always, it's a lot easier to reflect the, the type of lifestyle, I guess, on their clothing choices and stuff. Mm. So if you want her to be from some sort of special race, maybe making an, an interesting composition of, you know, like, like race characteristics or, or race traditional wear would help convey that a lot more. Because she just looks like, she looks like brown-haired orphan Annie with demon eyes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's that's honestly how that. You know, she's gonna start singing a little song, and you know, I don't want that thing to say. It's just like, <laughs> like what I is just, the what is the Shirley Temple song? The animal crackers, animal in crackers in my soup, <laughs> monkeys and rabbits of the loop. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, like, and it's, it's that bright yellow, the bright blue, and the bright red right next to each other. It's just. For me, that wouldn't bother me as she much. She looks if like it a Harlequin a... fetus, where it just has like that fucking weird cherry eye Jesus thing. Jesus Christ! No, it just Harlequin fetus. The really fucked up looking eyes. Well, they don't have blind. blind. You see, have you seen have you seen adult out. ones? Adult uh, Harlequins. Yeah. It, it, it's like sad because they have to eat like four thousand calories a day because their skin like sheds so much and they have to like slather themselves with lotion. They're also in the bath, all the or time. else they get the hose again, you know. And it's like. I don't know why, why we got on the, get on this. Well, I'm not, don't now. look up Harlequin fetuses. Sure. It's a, you're gonna have a bad time. So for me, like it's the it's the pose and the personality of the characters that really makes it. Like I can totally see the personality of the bird character. Like he looks really fun. Yeah. You know he you know is you know even with a simple expression. I can't tell if he's giant or if he's tiny. Like for, for me, I mean, well, I'm not. Well, yeah, yeah. But yeah but, he he conveys emotion a lot more. You know, yeah, he, he looks pose. sort of reckless. He's got. Yeah. Cherry apple cheeks and stuff. Yeah, his like, uh, his hat's flying off. His and then the little girl with with demon eyes. She isn't really like doing anything. She isn't like grasping onto him really tight because she's scared. She isn't like pushing him away. She she's she pissed. seems mildly inconvenienced and slightly angry. Like she's about to use her freaking mind powers to destroy <laughs> him quad. to turn him inside <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. And and honestly, I wouldn't mind like the pink like eyes as much if there was a reason for it. Like it would. I would shining. I would suggest doing like albino eyes where everything is red, red or pink. 
No, they have blue eyes too. You can be albino. That's actually a thing. I'm just saying, like, if the 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 when the, when the retina is pink, that just means that the the it that's very common in albino people too. Like, the, well, you can have blue eyes, but I'm saying, like, if you wanted to have that sort of maybe a different look, or you know, if you wanted to keep it the the pink reflecting thing, I would just stick with maybe like the 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 whites of the eyes being like a, a pink, and then the actual iris being the like whites redder. Are still white though. Aren't they? I'm fucking saying. Oh, oh you're just saying. Like, I'm just saying an in a fantasy race. Okay. Oh. That she's creating uh, a fantasy thing for her reflecting uh, pink eyes. There are other ways to do pink eyes oh, that are a lot more interesting looking. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you, I thought you meant realistic albinos, no. and I'm like, well, Andrea, come on, let's let's. No, I'm just saying cause... if you have like if you have like a like a not a baby pink, but like a slightly darker like a, a more millitone pink, and then just like a redder eye and stuff that that'll still create. Mm-hmm. That's an eye, and I'm not worried about it. But it's definitely, like, the laser beam eyes are just... It's it's ooh. disconcerting. Ooh. But, uh, it, it hits the uncanny valley that there's something wrong with that person. Yeah. Stay Did she from. say she's a different race? I can't uh, remember. Joanna, meanwhile, is a living scarecrow. He has a girly name and likes to be a big brother to oh. Winty by keeping her out of trouble. The wings were only added because of the contest theme, and I submitted this picture, too. But unlike the pink eye and oh, Winty, cute. I still kind of like the wings... So any advice on making them look like more like functional crow wings is appreciated. They are crow wings. Yeah. That's um, actually really cute. He's a scarecrow? I like that. He's a I, scarecrow, but... Okay, so that's what the that's what the magic sticks are for. Oh, see, that makes a lot more sense. Maybe he just needs some straw stuffed in things. Yeah, like, I, would, like the... I would put more... Because it just honestly looks like he just had two match sticks just ejected out of the top of his head. Yeah, like if it was stuffed into his socks or pants or something, like... I, honestly, that's really that. That would be really cute. I think you could make. I think you could push that character's design a little bit more to yeah. give it more of a scarecrow. Thing. Technically, I would be. I, I would definitely keep the the crow wings because yeah. I think that's yeah. an interesting idea for a scarecrow to also be some sort yeah. of crow man. Crow man. I like crow man. Crow man. Crow Crow man. Ness. Um. Yeah. No. I. I. How do I? We make them look more like functional. I think that honestly looks fine. Yeah, I mean, they have the right sort of stylization to it. It's not overly detailed. It has that. It, it's a little dark on the sort of inside of the wings, but it it doesn't look bad in any way. Like yeah, I think the not, wings are definitely my favorite part. It's of also this. hard to see where they connect just because of the like the way the character is right now. So yeah. I wouldn't, you know, of course, if you draw them a little differently, like how does it come out of the clothes? Like is it is it magically like sewn on? Is it like actual I would put some wings? of the straw in his like little like on part of his wings. And yeah, stuff. have straw coming out of it. Yeah, it's just like it was just sort of like on stuffed. There. Like no, he's not, a... like, not like he's stuffed. <laughs> not like he's like a stuffed flying crow, but like <laughs> like a crow that fell into a, a pile of hay and then just oh, has some go. on there. Yeah. Oh, let's see, that's really cute. Yeah, no, I think that's definitely something you can push. And yeah, you know, honestly, these are better wings than I draw sometimes. So yeah, uh, I think the wings are perfectly fine. Um, yeah, no, I, it's we. I, I think this one. By the by, is a lot more successful than the previous one. It yeah. has a lot more interest, interesting qualities and stuff to it. It's yeah, the the like angle is different. Like yeah. it actually, it's not something you it's usually fun see. And exciting. Yeah, and I would just I would my my biggest concern is just the personality of the tiny girl character. Like I can't yeah. tell what she is. Is she, you know, just what what would she be doing? I would also put some sort of idea of how big this character is, because he right now he looks like he's like this big. Yeah. Like he's like the oh size yeah of my like hand. yeah like having some uh, some scale like if well, he's like, landing on some flowers well or something, yeah like or... the grass underneath him and stuff should definitely be a lot more to scale yeah and because that grass is huge so that's what leads me to believe that he's like also, six like, or eight inches tall but also there's like elephant grass and things like that it just depends like if there's other ways yeah, to tell yeah I would put some flowers or something in there some put rabbits some, running away some reference points yeah yeah so you good. know like a, some birds flying away from some like quail that he disturbed. Because he was flying into the brush, like just anything. Yeah, and that would be. Uh, yeah, right now know. he just looks like he's about six. six I actually six really like tall. that character. That's really cute. Yeah, I didn't like having a little scarecrow with wings. That's actually a really cute character design. Uh, so, I think you can push it and do a lot of really fun things with that. She also said that she did win the contest with this. Oh, she didn't. She did. Oh, she did. Mm-hmm. Hooray! So congratulations for winning the contest. I've actually never won a contest before. I don't think I either. Uh, you won. You did it. <laughs> you are better. You have bested us. Um, do you have anything else? No. I mean, like... It's really simple. Yeah. No, I, I would just, you know, 
it just mostly just yeah. make sure the characters' personalities come out. Yeah. Scarecrow definitely has his personality coming out, and the girl just doesn't. And, yeah, she doesn't. You know, if she if she if he's like the I do uh, like her protector, shoes, though. Yeah, well, if she's like being protected, like fucking Sally unwittingly. Shoes. Like if she doesn't want him around, she can look really pissed or bored or pushing him away or squirming to try and get out of his grip. Yeah, it, it definitely you know. helps to have a lot more of an emotion or at least some sort of communication happening when you especially when you have more than one character on a yeah. piece. And and Sans, you know, if yeah, and like what Andrea mentioned with the uh, you know, the if you wanted to go like pink eye, you know, and go yeah, Andrea dropped some shrimp down her. Shirt, I didn't I drop think. the shrimp down there. I had a hair go down my oh. cleavage. <laughs> Jeez. But sorry. The problems is being a lady. <laughs> But kind of a dive in here. Yeah, no, that's that's like my favorite part about like character design is when you can see their personality in the pieces without having to like. My character is sad and he had a very tough life. Also, he was cursed with crow wings and now he, you know, like I mean, like it's just there's shit like that, and then you can actually just show it. Like you can actually be good and just like draw it, like draw the personality without having to explain it, it to people. Which yeah, is awesome. Do yeah, that. Definitely. That's a good thing to do. Yeah, so. a, in a piece, it definitely becomes a lot more of it, the same sort of thing with character design. It's just you you want to have a person have an idea of what's going on in a piece. Like you, yeah. you don't want to like, oh, actually, they're not in the real world; they're on the moon, and uh, this is a special moon grass that is really big. Like you don't want to do stuff like that. So, well, yeah, I mean, if the grass is big, you just gotta have scale. Like you just have scale to, is definitely necessary. Yeah, g- give us some uh, goodies. To, to give us uh, ideas. So. Oh. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you want your stuff uh, critiqued, we're fridgeartpodcast at gmail.com. Um, as we said in our previous one, if you want to send us themed things, we don't mind that. Uh, but yeah. So thanks very much to... Her name is Kristen. Chris, Kristen with an I. Kristen Schaefer. Uh, for sending your stuff in. And I hope that we were, we were helpful. We did yeah. both of them. Yeah, hopefully. Week after week. And by week after week, I mean right in a row, because we record <laughs> these at the same time. That's how it works. I'm going out on Halloween. Yep, and I'm uh, babysitting my parents' dogs, so... I'm, everybody wins. Everybody is Everybody Halloween-y. hurts sometimes. And then you gotta go to church for All Saints Day. Worship, yeah, that's worship uh, the ghosts. not happening. <laughs> gotta, gotta look at Virgin Mary or whatever happens. I don't know. Uh, Good stuff. Okay, well, thank you for joining us. Yep. <laughs> yep. Have a have a lovely. Oh yeah. What I November. what I keep forgetting to to uh, tell you is like every time that I do these, like mm-hmm. the last ten seconds mm-hmm. of our or no, like it adds on like twenty seconds onto the edge of this and and really? end what of this, mean? and it's just the repeating like last half second. So it'll be like okay, bye. I'm like okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye. Like it's <laughs> yeah. Is it's, it really funny? It's well, like one of those like no, okay. Okay, like, it was just a bunch of, like, clicking sounds, and it's it's always an adventure finding those on the end. Why does that do that? I don't know, and it doesn't do this in actual Audacity. It'll do that on, um, uh, Premiere Pro. Not Premiere Pro. I wonder if it'd do that on my computer. Probably. Probably. Thanks, Adobe. Oh, it is Premiere Pro. Okay. Premiere Pro, da 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 <laughs> Go send your artwork to Fridger so we can critique it. <laughs> 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 Bye.